Welcome to HVAC exam practice test, our topic today is heat sources. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store and Google Play for free practice tests. Question 1. In a one-pipe gravity steam heating system, what is the main reason for using large piping and radiator valves? A. To increase the temperature of the steam before it reaches the radiator. B. To allow the condensate to return against the resistance created by the steam flow. C. To reduce heat loss and improve system efficiency. D. To separate the flow of steam and condensate for better temperature control. The correct answer is, B, to allow the condensate to return against the resistance created by the steam flow. Explanation, since both steam and condensate share the same pipe in a one-pipe gravity system, larger pipes and valves are needed to allow condensate to return to the boiler without excessive restriction. Question 2. What is a major disadvantage of using a one-pipe gravity steam heating system in a building with multiple floors? A. The system cannot generate enough steam to reach the upper floors. B. The steam and condensate flowing in opposite directions can cause water hammer issues. C. The system requires separate return pipes for each floor, increasing installation costs. D. The system cannot regulate room temperature effectively due to automatic steam control. The correct answer is, B, the steam and condensate flowing in opposite directions can cause water hammer issues. Explanation, in a one-pipe system, steam moves toward the radiators while condensate flows back to the boiler in the same pipe, leading to water hammer a knocking sound caused by steam and water colliding. Question 3. Why was the two-pipe gravity steam heating system developed as an improvement over the one-pipe gravity system? A. To eliminate the need for air valves in the system. B. To prevent the backflow of condensate and steam within the same pipe. C. To reduce fuel consumption by maintaining a higher boiler pressure. D. To allow steam to circulate at a lower pressure without affecting heating efficiency. The correct answer is, B. To prevent the backflow of condensate and steam within the same pipe. Explanation. The two-pipe system separates the steam supply and condensate return, allowing for smoother operation and reducing water hammer issues. Question 4. What is a key design feature of a vapor steam heating system that differentiates it from other types of steam heating systems? A. It requires air vents to maintain steady steam circulation. B. It operates under a slight vacuum to produce steam at lower temperatures. C. It requires high steam pressure to ensure proper heat distribution. D. It allows condensate to return to the boiler without the need for pumps. The correct answer is, B, it operates under a slight vacuum to produce steam at lower temperatures. Explanation, vapor steam heating systems create a moderate vacuum, allowing steam to form at lower temperatures, making the system more efficient and reducing fuel consumption. Question 5. What potential issue may occur in a return trap steam heating system if the return trap is not properly installed? A. The steam may fail to circulate properly, leading to uneven heating. B. The condensate may back up into the vertical return pipe, causing boiler pressure fluctuations. C. The system may lose steam due to excessive condensation in the return lines. D. The radiators may fail to release air, leading to overheating in certain areas. The correct answer is, B, the condensate may back up into the vertical return pipe, causing boiler pressure fluctuations. 
Explanation, if the return trap is not correctly positioned, excess steam pressure can prevent condensate from returning smoothly to the boiler, leading to unstable operation. Question 6. In a vacuum return line steam heating system, why is a vacuum pump installed? A. To increase boiler pressure and ensure steam reaches all radiators. B. To remove air from the system, allowing for faster and more even steam circulation. C. To force condensate through return lines at a higher pressure. D. To reduce the need for radiator valves by automatically regulating pressure differences. The correct answer is, B, to remove air from the system, allowing for faster and more even steam circulation. Explanation, by removing air, the vacuum pump enhances steam movement and prevents air binding, which can cause inefficient heating. Question 7, what is a major advantage of using a two-pipe high-pressure steam heating system in industrial applications? A. It allows for the reuse of steam in multiple processes without significant pressure loss. B. It reduces the need for insulation on the piping system. C. It eliminates the requirement for heat exchange units and other temperature control mechanisms. D. It prevents steam leakage by operating under a continuous vacuum. The correct answer is, A. It allows for the reuse of steam in multiple processes without significant pressure loss. Explanation High pressure two pipe systems are commonly used in industrial settings because they can efficiently transport steam to different processes while maintaining pressure. Question 8 What is a key disadvantage of a vacuum airline steam heating system when compared to traditional steam heating methods? A. It requires larger pipe sizes to accommodate pressure variations. B. The steam pressure must be increased significantly to function properly. C. The system may be noisy due to air expulsion through radiator vents. D. It requires specialized airline valves, increasing installation complexity. The correct answer is, D. It requires specialized airline valves, increasing installation complexity. Explanation the vacuum airline system replaces traditional radiator air vents with airline valves, which add complexity but allow for better steam circulation. Question 9. In a two-pipe medium pressure steam heating system, what is a common feature that improves condensate return efficiency? A. The ability to lift condensate into elevated return mains. B. The requirement for larger radiator units to improve heat exchange. C. The use of separate steam and condensate valves at each radiator. D. The need for constant monitoring of radiator pressure. The correct answer is A. The ability to lift condensate into elevated return mains. Explanation Unlike gravity fed systems, two pipe medium pressure systems allow condensate to be lifted into elevated return mains, improving system flexibility. Question 10. Why do high-pressure steam heating systems typically require the use of thermostatic traps or inverted bucket traps? A. To regulate steam temperature and prevent overheating in radiators. B. To allow steam to expand and contract freely within the pipes. C. To separate steam from condensate and ensure efficient condensate drainage. D. To minimize fuel consumption by controlling boiler pressure fluctuations. The correct answer is, C, to separate steam from condensate and ensure efficient condensate drainage. Explanation, high-pressure systems generate large amounts of condensate, which must be effectively separated from the steam to maintain system efficiency and prevent water hammer. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos.